Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. This game has just been completely turned on its head with all of the content that EA dropped yesterday and the fact that icons are finally hype again. What a team of players, incredible stats and boosts, and the fact that they're still live and upgrading as well brings a lot of hype. Even some of the cards from a game last night are going to get upgraded today with a plus one overall and a 99 rated stat boost on one of the individual stats in the cards. We got to talk about all of that happening yesterday and of course the prices that are crashing on the market because this content is so good and the unlimited pack grind that EA have given us to chase these players. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's go, actually, you know what, let's go to objectives to start things off and just start from there because we actually have a couple of really good objectives, not, of course, any better than the crafting objective, guys. 160 completions, we'll look at the SPC and talk about that unlimited pack grind that we mentioned. It's a lot of completions, but it's out for 20 days. It's going to be pretty easy to get done in that time if you just segment it up over a couple days and some really good packs down here at the end of the objective in 8320, 87.4, 85.7, of course the idea would be is that you get this done during all of the time that this icon promo is going on which is one week so this would be best to be able to be completed in the next week but i did want to mention that we'll talk about that a little bit more objective player was released yesterday as alan shearer upgrading live card for england of course four star five star six foot he's got only three play style pluses that was some of the thing that was interesting yesterday some of the icons and heroes have three play style pluses and some of them have four, which is going to make their upgrades pretty interesting. But not too bad of a card here. Very easy to do and fun. Of course, we have a daily play as well. But this time, the daily play objective gives way better rewards and, and different rewards, right? The other daily plays are just a couple packs here or there. This one actually gives you time gated, of course. But they are loans of the players that are in packs right now. So Rui Costa maybe is even helpful for you when you're playing the Portuguese Weekend League if you're going for that. And then, of course, we've got Jabi Alonso down here at nine completions for his great to the game icon card, which basically means you get to use his card for unlimited games until July 17th. That is when the loan runs out instead of a match loan, right? This is kind of like that pack they gave us during PTG. It is a time loan, so we can all get that card which is cool. And then the other objective that we had yesterday was some XP, some very much needed XP. And it's kind of like one of those challenge objectives, but it tells you what to do inside of here. Score at least one goal per match using a Brazilian player in six separate wins in any game mode. So that's a little bit difficult to do, but a lot of these aren't that hard and it does get you a decent amount of XP to progress in the season. A lot of people are now getting towards level 34, level 35 for those big choices of like Cruz or Gerard or Pushkas. Um, or Pushkas is kind of the easy choice here at level 35. But you know what I'm saying? XP was nice yesterday. Let's go to evolutions and talk about the craziness that happened there. We had an Icon Evo. Remember earlier on in the year when Icon Evos were always just bad? Well, we're at the end of the game and they're good as they should be legendary status 100,000 coins to get this icon evolution done basically it takes a base icon there are some icons that fit that are not base but most of them are base icons that you can put into this that go crazy i don't have a ton of great icons in my club that actually fit this sure you go to four play style pluses which is very nice but Henri would be like the best one and he has a card in packs right now for the great to the game promo but like if you have Dino, if you have Eusebio, if you have Cruyff, any of these base icons still around in your club, maybe a Centurion's Hullet, this is a Don card, the y Yashin center back card looks pretty nice, even though the playstyles aren't the best for him there. This is a really, really awesome Evo. I just feel like it doesn't impact everybody in a crazy way because not everybody has one of these cards laying around. Now, here's the issue. If you really want this Ronaldinho... It doesn't seem like a bad value Evo to go and do, right? Because you're getting an, a Ronaldinho card with four play style pluses that's five star, four star with stats that are better than his 95 rated or close to his 95 rated card that was a future star icon. And this one is only going to cost you about 1.7 million coins because Ronaldinho is 1.6, 1.7, and you pay 100k to do the SBC. So if you want to go that route, yeah, it's a lot of coins, but if you plan on using a Dino for the rest of the year and you want to use Ronaldinho, it's not the worst thing ever. It is expensive, don't get me wrong, but it's not the worst thing ever. But like, if you still have a base Zico, like if you did this SBC earlier on in the year in your club, you can turn that Zico card into a pretty crazy Evo. He's one of the popular ones inside of this, which is almost as good as his brand new promo card that was dropped. Not quite as good, 
but close and four playstyle pluses so again it's a really really good evo i'm slightly disappointed because i have a base mia ham and if mia ham had one less shooting stat she would have fit this evolution and she would have been cracked but evidently ea didn't want that to happen so i don't know if i'm going to do this one uh, unless somehow i'm able to get my hands on an icon that does fit this because on re for me probably isn't going to be worth it so if there's somebody you have w if there's somebody you that doesn't fit for your club or just doesn't look good enough to you kind of like the scenario that i'm in then it's maybe a pass for that let's go to the sbc's where that crafting objective is all the rage and all the talk let's talk about that first the festival of football crafting objective we leaked it yesterday or showed the leak yesterday we knew it was coming i wasn't necessarily expecting it to be dropped yesterday but hey the sooner we get a pack like this the better it is a 77 times 5 rare gold players pack and basically what you turn into it is the exact thing same thing as the 81 plus player picks last week it's one rare and 11 gold so 10 commons and one rare and you're getting five rares back and of course all of the other objective packs that are there as well the crafting grind on this way to make this basically unlimited since you're getting so many players back the way to do this right now in the menus is put your gold rares and commons into this crafting upgrade that's the start you put all of your golds and your uh, rares and non-rares into this from that you open these, get the 77 fives open, you get 77 to 80 rated cards, those go straight back into this. I would even say if you are running out of gold commons and you just have a lot of gold rares, just keep putting them back into this. This SBC has to be completed 160 times. Um, that's going to take a little bit of work. So I would put rares and non-rares, whatever you have in your club into this. I don't think they mattered, even though there's a different requirement. I don't think it matters much. So put those rares into this for the 77 to 80 rated. Now for 81 rated to 85s, especially like the 81s twos and threes put those into the 83 plus team of the league player pick this is going to make your life so much easier if you're doing this team of the league player pick on the regular it's going to allow you to do the other upgrade packs like we had the 84 times 10 and the 85 times 7 last week right once we get more spcs like that today and those are out you're going to have team of the weeks in your club you're going to be glad that you put those 81s to 83s and of course the 84s and 85s that you need to get this spc done into here so make sure you include that in a part of your grind and then anything that is 85 and above you know where it's going or sorry 86 and above it's going boom straight into the exchange or into one of those upgrade pack SBCs that we would be getting. But the exchange grind is still going to keep the method of the crafting objective alive because you got to put a couple players into the exchanges to keep getting those gold commons and those gold rares to keep the crafting objective going. So that's how this becomes unlimited, right? You're in the crafting objective into the 83 plus team league player pick and then into the exchanges with the higher rated fodder. And then from there, anything extra that you get can go into other SBCs. And all the while, you're getting chances at packing the cards that are in packs. Now, with all that fodder that you're getting, player SBCs would be a place you could be putting it, right? Yesterday, we had two, well, I guess technically three player SBCs because we had one icon and a showdown. And the icon was who we thought it was going to be, Wayne Rooney. Man, this SBC is really good looking. The card... Forget about the price for a second. The card looks unreal. 97 pace, 96 shooting, and the fact that he's still alive. I know, right? England, maybe they're getting upgrades. Maybe Who knows, right? It's not been good. It's not been good for my USA boys as well. But if they get two goals, if they get four goals, this card will look insane. And he's already got four play style pluses. So here's the question. What would they do? They would give him a 99 face stat on the card. So let's say England score two goals in their first game and they score two goals in the next game, in their next two games of the knockouts, and let's say they move on. And he's got that four goal, two upgrades clinched, right? He would get a 97 rated boost for the first two goals. He would also get a 99 stat boost since he already has a play style plus. I don't think EA are going to give out a fifth play style plus. They're going to give a 99 face stat on the card. And I guess it's just up to EA to which one they would choose. By our luck, right, this Rooney would go with a plus one up to 98 pace and 97 rated. They would probably give him 99 pace, right? That would just be what they do. The stat that's closest to 99 would probably be the one that gets boosted. But we're going to find out here soon, early today how those boosts work now here's the issue with this sbc 100 guys it's the price 1.8 million coins to this rooney when you look at how the rest of these cards are priced on the market i don't know why he's this expensive would he be this expensive on the market in my opinion no i think he'd be definitely less than this maybe not like 
way less than this, like half the price. But I think if this car was on the market, looking at the prices of the rest of the team and the fact that he's four star, five star, I think that detracts a little bit of value from the card. I think he'd be like 1.2 million coins, maybe 1.3, somewhere around there. But this SBC is 1.8 mil. I think it's pricing in the fact that he would get both of his upgrades. And if he does, then maybe it's worth doing. But I think for right now, you're just waiting to see how England perform on the weekend. And then you'll get a chance to see if you want to start crafting this SBC because it's only out for two weeks. So you kind of have to decide semi quickly, but it's probably the best version of Wayne Rooney we are going to be getting in this game. Now, the other SBCs we had yesterday was a showdown for the final day of the group stage matches in Group D, which is Brazil and Colombia in Copa America. Brazil just got a 4-1 win, so they got three points. They're sitting in second place in the group. Colombia are sitting in uh, first place with six points. And with these showdowns, I like that they're cheap. The player selection, it's different players. I have really no complaints here, right? Because the showdowns, they're just solid. I think it's time, though, that we gave showdowns four-play style pluses. I don't know. That's just my thought process here. Joel Gomez, four-star, five-star, medium-high. A lot of people have Bruno Guimaraes. We have some center defensive mids already. But you know what? If you're Brazilian or if you're Colombian and you're loving this, or if you just want some skin in the game for that game upcoming this next week, here's an opportunity for you to get those SBCs done. I like that they're cheap. They're both like, what, 50 or 60K? Uh, okay, just kidding. Joel Gomez has some pretty crazy uh, Premier League tax. I did not realize this. Joel Gomez is 220K. I don't like that. But uh, Quintero is pretty cheap at 90,000 coins. So they're actually not as cheap. Man, I thought those were cheap. I guess they're not. So yeah, that's a bit of um, underwhelming in my opinion. Last thing I want to mention is the 79 times three pack that was dropped yesterday as well. I didn't mention it as a part of like the best crafting grind in this game, nor did I mention the 82 plus player pick. I think the 82 plus player pick is better than the 79 times three. This is probably the least best upgrade pack grind right now that pack right there the 82 plus pick you can still do a few of these here and there if you want if you want to try to focus on some higher rated fodder they are definitely still worth doing but i think for the best grind in this game getting the crafting objective done as fast as you can for all those extra packs while the icons are in packs right now is probably the way to go about it so just sprinkle a couple of those in there if you want to uh, but the 79 times three probably not worth doing now speaking of the packs Let's talk about the cards that are impacts, guys. All of these icons that EA dropped in the game, and the heroes as well. We can't overlook those. Uh, but here's the thing. These cards, they're really insane, honestly. All the big names we saw with the leagues, EA really delivered with the stat boost. There's a couple cards that look a bit mid. Vieira, you always know that he's good in game, but his stat-wise, it looks a little bit low. Zidane with 87 pace, the pace stat just seems a little bit low. But cards like R9, Ronaldinho, their Carlos looks insane. Maldini looks pretty nice. There are some fraudulent play styles here or there. You know, Thierry Henry's got four play style pluses, but he's got flair as one of them, right? So you're kind of like, hmm. Even R9's got chip shot, which is like... Well, you know, could have been a little bit better. But for most of these cards, especially when you look at the middle tier, like this Fernando Torres, this is an amazing looking card for 400,000 coins. Guys, the pack weight is 1,000% better than Make Your Mark, 1,000%. By the supply that I've seen for these cards on the market, by the number of people that have been tweeting me things. Like, th I just got this tweet right before I started recording the video. Paul says, at the foot account, day one grind is done, GG's EA. And like... I know not everybody has insane pack luck like this. He probably opened a ton of packs and maybe had a bunch of save packs as well. But this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy, right? With all those icons that he packed, again, probably some luck involved there for sure. But it's been a really, really good last day of the pack wait for most people on this game. And you could just tell by the prices of these cards on the market. Like Adele Piero, that's five star, five star, is 950K with those playstyle pluses. His finesse shots, by the way, tried them out unbelievable and then even for the three play style plus players like this desai who if france uh get four goals he would probably get a play style plus boost right kind of like the other goals greats of the game icons i mean once they hit their goals and they had three play style pluses they got a fourth added instead of a 99 stat like there's some really good cards in here that are cheap too this javi icon is like dirt cheap he's almost minimum price so be very careful with that but that's even a usable card for a lower budget uh, the Jabi Alonso will be included in that as well. Gerd Muller will be included. I packed Zanetti yesterday. Um, yesterday, my biggest pack pulls were Zanetti um, and the Gerd Muller, which was funny because I'm losing a lot of coins right now on that Gerd Muller card. I bought him early, tried the flip. It didn't work. Um, and I didn't even open that many packs yesterday, but it was the Gerd Muller 
and the Zanetti for me. I also packed a Rui Costa and I packed Trezeguet. Like again, one of the things you can base a pack weight on it during a promo is how often you're packing kind of those lower tier to middle tier fodder cards. And I was packing, uh, it seemed like people were packing Trezeguet and like the fodder guys from the hero and the icon team a lot. So guys, th the weight seems way better, right? I mean, obviously it's up to each of us. You know, we have different pack weight. It's all luck based anyway. So get to ripping packs. The bottom line is it's a good week to grind too. With all the packs that are out, with the icons finally being juiced again and relevant on this game after icons were just kind of behind the curve for a while. It is just an amazing, amazing week to be crafting. Now to look at the heroes really quick, Tevez, Maybe a little underwhelming for him too, getting the Relentless Plus, but I know that's on his base uh, hero card. Really solid here. Upgrades, of course, incoming, you would assume, for Argentina. The hero cards are really cheap, to be honest, compared to the Icon cards. And most of them, except Tevez, only have three playstyle pluses, which is a little bit weird. Um, but, you know, like Cordoba looks pretty good. Marquisio looks good as well. Again, Italy playing today. So there's some uh, opportunities to watch out price movements for there. But there are some missing players. I did want to mention that because remember, you know, Bobby Charlton was leaked. Who else was, was leaked? It didn't drop. Zambrata, Hugo Sanchez, Ashley Cole, Carlos Puyo. There's plenty of players that were leaked in the initial leak of this team that were not actually released in packs yesterday. The hope is that all those players would be released in some sort of mini release. Like, fingers crossed, there's a mini release coming because some of those players, like the Charlton, uh, I was excited. A usable Carlos Puyo, like, I'd be excited for that for sure. So we'll have to see if that comes out either today on a Saturday, maybe tomorrow on a Sunday. And then the other things to mention are from the yesterday, the upgrades that have already been clinched. Guys, Brazil won four to one just minutes ago. The final whistle blew. Four to one win in their second game of Copa America. And since they scored four goals, that means all the icons that were dropped on this game yesterday, since they were dropped, right? And again, it starts, the upgrades start on the day of their release. They're getting the full upgrade. So this Zico card today on Saturday is going to go to a 96 rated card. And then he's going to get one face stat to go to a 99. That's insane. Of course, it does kind of, you know, lessen the hype. There's no more live aspect to the card since he's already got the goals. But we saw this with Balak, right? In the first game of the Euros, they scored all those goals and he got both upgrades. So that's a lot of hype. So that also means that Ronaldinho and R9, who are both extinct on the market at 15 million coins, are going to 98 rated today with a 99 face stat boost. And um, they're going to be even more extinct, I guess you would say, which is really, really wild. But that's just something to watch out for. Roberto Carlos is going to go to a 96 and get himself a uh, 99 rated stat as well. So all the Brazilians that were the icon cards dropped yesterday, which there were four, Zico, R9, Dino, and Carlos. I think I, that's all of them. I think uh, they're going to get a plus one today with the 99 stat on top of it. So that's really hype. We love it, right? We love to see the upgrades actually come in super fast. The other thing is Brazil Path to Glories are going to get upgraded as well because that was the first Brazil win in the group stages of Copa America because they drew the first game. So that's something to watch out for today. Uh, but again, as we're going to look out on the market here, these PTG cards, although I still like them to trade with, a lot of them are dropping. And I lost coins on some of these yesterday too. There was a huge market reset yesterday just because of the fact uh, that these icon cards are affordable and they're really insane. And the rest of the content was good too. Bruno Guimaraes is 630K. Has not got his upgrade yet, but he's going to go to a 96. Militao is going to get upgraded too. So just kind of be watching out for that, for the upgrades. And then last shout is since um, Colombia won three, they scored three goals. I think it was 3-0 that they won. They kept a clean sheet, which is uh, progress for some of those cards. Cordoba with the two goal um, kind of threshold checked off. It's going to get a plus one today as well. So those are the upgrades that we should see today on this game. We'll talk about the big games and the Euros happening later on today towards the middle to the end of the video. But let's talk about the market a little bit more. You saw my transfer list. You've seen the cards here. Um, guys, it was a big day of coin losses, I think, for a lot of people. If you timed the market right yesterday, there were coins to be made, and there's still a lot of cards that are up in value. But this Trussard here, I actually made coins on. I bought him for 460 This Cannavaro I bought for 510 sold him for 509 He's up a little bit. I was really watching the Italian icons because, of course, it's Italy versus Switzerland today, and then Germany play against Denmark a little bit later on. But the market overall as a whole, 
is just dropping. Like, Pedri was 1.5. He's now 1.3. Sabitzer was over 600. He was just under 500k. A lot of the cards either went down or just kind of stayed the same and didn't move a whole lot because there was really just no reason for people to, like, hold on to these investments for these Path to Glories. Sure, they're still live, but everybody wanted to go buy the new and the hype stuff and that created a lot of crashing prices yesterday even on some of the make your mark cards and the path to glories as i circle around here and look at some prices some have rebounded a little bit that's for sure but other ones are still what shua many's 1.5 and he's up 185k he was 1.9 million coins yesterday he dropped all the way down to one point like that's the sort of drops that i saw on a lot of cards yesterday but again, these cards are still live. So it's kind of like playing with a little bit of fire trading with these cards because you have the new icons, which are all the rage, all the hype with, of course, icon chemistry and they're live and upgrading as well. But then you still have some of these like De Young's one point. OK, that's a 100K undercut. But like De Young yesterday was 1.6 million before content and went down all the way to 1.3 million, which it looks like he's turned the rebound back up from right now. I, I'm being very careful with my coins. Once I get out of some of these losses and get some through some of these trades, I'm not going to be on the market myself ton today, but the market is just going to be really, really volatile. I think today, guys, with the path to glories that move up, I'm still watching the Italian icons. Like those are the ones that are on my radar the most because they have the games today and they have the potential to score goals and to get the upgrades. But the thing is, with the pack weight, guys, look at these. Like this first owner, Conovaro, that just got packed, listed up. Every time I'm searching for these cards on the market, there's first owner ones. That means it's just being packed from the store or from some sort of tradable pack, maybe weekend league rewards. There's another Zico for three mil flat. Like these cards are getting packed all of the time. And it's just worries me about how their prices are going to hold up, even though they're live. So I'm just trying to be really careful with those. The PTGs, again, are not in packs. So I like those a little bit more um, because they do have some rarity to them. And we've known that. But it's still, it's still risky to kind of own some of those cards right now. Really, what these icons are starting to do is bring in so much hype that it's kind of correcting, again, some of the prices that we had on the Path to Glory cards that were honestly probably too much. Like, these cards were really, really expensive. And some of them, we saw some massive drops last week on after they would play a game or something like that, or even after they got an upgrade. I think some of those drops could continue through the weekend just with how hype these brand new cards are. But again, another shout Keep an eye on the Germany and the Italian icons today because they do play and there's potential upgrades on the line. And just like we saw with that Zico card, Zico was two and a half million coins, 2.6 million. And now that Brazil scored four goals, he's up to three million coins of 500K. He was even selling at 3.3 uh, mil just a little bit ago. Roberto Carlos is up like 400K as well. The cards will move if they hit the upgrade thresholds and there will be people investing for that but there's going to be a lot of volatility too so as always selling in the hype is going to be your best move and that way you minimize a lot of your risk especially with the live cards now Let's talk about content today because there's definitely more that is coming today on this game. First of all, it's Saturday. It's upgrade pack day. We had the 84 times 10 last week. Guess what? We're getting another 84 times 10 this week, but it may not be the one that's repeatable three times a day. The 8410 best of nations pack was edited in the code. We had the 857 best of nations last week. I'm guessing it's going to replace that this week. And I would also guess that that's not our main upgrade pack. It's kind of like our, you know, nations one, right? Where we had that 85.7 one time uh, repeatable, just able to do it one time last week. But we still had the regular 84 times 10 last week as well. Hopefully this week they bring back the 85 times 5 regular upgrade because that was pretty good. And I think if they bring an 86 double or even an 84 times 7, it's not going to seem as hype as the 84.10. Honestly, to follow the 84 times 10, that's big shoes to fill. So... I'm hoping for the 85.5, but we really don't even know yet. There's no leaks around that. But here's what I would say. Again, doing the unlimited pack grind in the menus, get those team of the week stocked up on because that's the important way to keep it going and keep yourself being able to do those upgrade pack SBCs easy. Like I found myself running out of team of the weeks a lot last week. Not going to happen this week with all the fodder that is available. Then player SBC wise, we have the same leaks that we had a couple of days ago. Still, of course, we're looking out for Cafu, which it's very, 
Very disappointing now that Brazil have scored four goals and Cafu does not get the upgrades for those four goals because he was not released in the game at the time that that game happened. So if Cafu were to come today, he would not have the upgrades as all the other Brazilians would. I don't know who would be today, though, to be honest. Um, you know, Casillas, Figo, Seedorf, Lizarot, there could be some really good SBC players released out of these names here. Stat-wise, could be really good. Could be pretty exciting. We'll just have to see who we get today, but of course, we already have Shearer and Rooney. So that neither of those will be dropping, but we're definitely going to get a player SBC today, 100%. And then again, last shout for the live cards and everybody who is playing today. I don't want you guys to forget about selling in the hype and getting some of those cards out ahead of time because we got a bunch of new cards added yesterday. If you have Chiesa, if you have, I don't know, maybe DeMarco, if you have... Di Natale as well. Di Natale is actually a really, really big one for today because all Italy have to do is score one goal and Di Natale goes up uh, to a fourth place out plus. This card was down a lot yesterday. He's back up a little bit now. He was 1.4, 1.5. Just imagine this card with a fourth place out plus with the stats that he has already he's going to be nuts um no more upgrades of course once he hits that but he's going to be crazy and then always watch out for the underdog if switzerland do something crazy today uh definitely watch out for Endoy. he would move same thing with denmark uh schmeichel would move hoyland potentially if he scores christensen was an objective so he obviously isn't viable but it's kind of like germany and italy are the big nations today with a lot of live cards that could make people some coins or lose people a lot of coins as well germany like we mentioned yesterday Unda and Fulkrug are very popular investments. People are still holding on to these because they believe that Germany can do good. But once again, if they don't win today, uh, it's it's going to be a problem. And the prices are going to drop off incredible amounts. Undav is 320k. They get the fourth play style plus. Undav and Fulkrug would if Germany win today. So no stat boost, right? That win three game threshold is just a play style plus addition. I don't even know what they would give Undav. This card would be crazy. He already is crazy. Maybe they would give him like Quick Step or something or Power Shot. He'll be wild regardless. So that's a card that I would watch. But if you don't want to risk it, sell in the hype as always. And one thing I've been noticing too with selling in the hype is a lot more people are selling in the hype. So it's actually best if you're going to do that to sell like before even in the hype, like sell it a day before or the night before the game, even like right now, if you're watching this video early, you know, because prices might actually start dropping as the game gets closer and closer as people are getting out of their cards and not wanting to risk it, especially in the state that the market is in. So guys, this game has completely been flipped on its head. That's kind of what it feels like. Icons are hype once again. I mean, yesterday's honestly, this might go down as one of the best full icon slash hero promos of all time. Golasso was good. Trophy Titans two years or last year was good. This is crazy. Live and upgrading icons, the packability that they seem to have, and then the amount of packs that are there, uh, yeah, it's popping off. It's a great time to be on this game. Best of luck playing champs. I know that the rewards are still ultimate tots. Uh, but then again, from the other packs that you get, especially the, the rewards that give you the Copa and the Euro specific packs, if you're getting a high enough rank, really good opportunities there. And the player picks as well. Like you, you could be getting the icons from the weekend league reward player picks. So got to get some games in myself this weekend. And, uh, I'm still excited to try out that 97 Nunez upgrade that he got a simple plus one across the board. And then I got to try out the Gerd Muller card that I uh, was able to pack today as well. So we're going to try to pack some more icons. And hopefully, I mean, man, if we hit one of those Dinos, one of those R9s, that would be life-changing pack luck. I'm not, you know, we've already had insane pack luck this second half of the year for sure. Tots, the live card promos, treated as well. But we're going to at least try for something crazy this week as well. So hopefully you guys have good pack luck. Best of luck in all the grinding this weekend. I will see you guys in another YouTube video tomorrow. If you enjoyed this one, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below who you've packed because yesterday in the stream, I asked everybody who they packed and it was like lists of players. It was crazy. So I want to hear down in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed already, drop a sub. I will see you guys in another video tomorrow. It's been Nathan Foot Account and have a great weekend. Peace out.